it's been a good few weeks, hasn't it? Um, and particularly for yourself, man of the match against Blackburn, just how big a, a challenge was that game, considering the weather, considering the pitch, the opponents? Tough old game to come out of that with a point. You must be really pleased. Yeah, it was a very tough game, but I think me and the team, we dug deep and we got the point we needed because it's tough to go there, especially in the form they've been, been in, especially before our game. And we stuck in, we grind it out and we got a point and we're happy to take that away from the game. Personally, do you think that was one of your best performances of the season so far? Uh, uh, yeah, defensively, because um, I thought I was strong and uh, one challenges that came to me, obviously every now and then, still an odd few mistakes which I need to improve on but it will come with time and yeah I'm just happy to help the team at the point we need it. You look so composed on the ball it's easy to forget that you're very much at the start of your career where does that composure come from? Uh, I'm not too sure to be fair I, I didn't used to be like that when I was about under 15s under 14s I was totally opposite but then I think something just clicked in my head and I was just more relaxed and I don't know, I just, it, felt, it feels better when I'm on the ball when I'm relaxed because I know I'm in control and I don't know, yeah, I can just look after it. When I, was, when I wasn't relaxed, I feel like I'd just be panicking and I'd be willing to give the ball away. But now it's like, calm down, you're in control, you do what you want with the ball. And I don't know, it's just worked and it, I think it makes me look a little better anyway. It's a great asset to have. Um, there's a lot of praise coming your way um, as collectively as a defensive unit um, in the last few weeks as well with Matty Pearson and Tom Lees. How much are you learning from playing alongside those guys? I'm learning every day, even if it's on the pitch or off the pitch, ways to recover, or they give me little tips to help on the pitch when I'm marking a player that maybe they've played against or they've made a mistake, so they're here to help me. And, you know, these, these little things go a long way because in games, I just think of the advice they gave me and it just makes life so much easier. So all I can do is keep absorbing it sort of thing, everything they're giving me because it's only going to help me for the future. Is it one of those where you go and ask for advice or do they you know, sort of offer it to you? How does that work, that dynamic? It's a bit of both. Like in, in training North, we're just talking, they'll give me the advice happily. And then, but if I kind of don't understand something, I'll happily go and ask them at the same time and they'll they help me out. And come as like a we come as a team. So if same as same, I don't I know they don't need much advice because they how experienced, but if they do know you think they come to me and we just speak about something, we discuss things and we just try and help each other off the, the team. And we can't leave Lee Nichols out of that conversation either, who's having a fantastic season. How much confidence does that give you knowing that he's behind you? Should you need that backup? Yeah, knowing these behind you, just, it makes me more composed. That's one of the things that help because I know if something doesn't happen right, I've always got him to come and save me behind. And obviously I've got the other two. So it just helps me as a player and makes me look better, even though he, you wouldn't really say he's doing much when I'm on the ball, but he's there, he's talking to me, he's helping me communicate. And if I need to, I can go back to him because I trust him with the ball and I trust him to make the right decision for me and the team. It's always the way, isn't it? The strikers get all the glory for the goals. Um, we have this debate on, on the radio a lot about um, our expert summarizer, Matt Glennon, says the defenders and, and, and the goalkeeper don't get enough credit for, you know, when you get that, that clean sheet, that really resolute defensive performance. So you must take as much joy out of a nil-nil as perhaps, you know, the strikers do when they get their goals. I think, I think in the media that might come off like that, but in the change room and things like that, as a team, the strikers will appreciate every single bit of work we're doing because it's also putting less pressure on them and same as us. So I think in the change room, things like that, everyone appreciates everyone for their own attributes. And I think that's why we're such a strong team. And I think it's starting to show on the pitch recently. A break from the championship this weekend then. Talk to me about the FA Cup and what it means to you as a player. Uh, it's a big competition. Who don't want to play in it? Um, for us as a team, it's a great opportunity to show how much we've improved and how, how good we are now. So all we need to do is go there with a winning mentality and hope we get the win. Does it feel different going into an FA Cup match as opposed to a league game? Well, like, I feel like I might be a, a bit more in it. For Obviously, I'm English. So like it's growing up watching it, it's a big thing. So for me personally, it's like, you know, this, oh, this is something that don't come around all the time. It's a big opportunity. So we'll see. And... But concerning that the championship, every single day, game is still, it's still a big, it's a big opportunity to prove yourself because people are always watching no matter what game it is. Yeah.
Burnley then are having a tough season. Do you fancy your chances of, of taking a Premier League scalp over the weekend? Why not? Why not? We've got to trust and believe in ourselves and anything can happen. It's like I said already, if we go there with a winning mentality, who can say no to us? We go there willing to work hard as a team and our, our attributes will come out and shine and we'll hopefully look good and play good. And a lot of people are keeping a close eye on on you and particularly the Chelsea fans are seeing what you're up to. A um, lot of chatter and comparisons being made with, with Rhys James at, at Chelsea um, and the impact that his loan spell had and is now really making waves in the first team. How do you feel about that comparison and that your career might go the same way? Um, I want to get ahead of myself and compare myself to Rhys James personally because, you know, we see what he does We week out he's a great player but it's nice I appreciate it but at the same time it don't really mean much to me because they can compare me to whoever they like but it's down to me to work hard and put in the performances that I need to help me and the team out because I could I could listen to all gear big head and nothing can happen it'd be pointless and any player could get caught get called or get put up to reach change but it's down to me at the end of the day how much communication do you have with the guys down at Chelsea? And, and no doubt they're watching your progress and seeing what a great season you're having at Huddersfield. Yeah, I get a lot of messages from the guys back at Chelsea and they come to watch some of my games. So even if they're not there, they're still watching. They still give me advice and things to help me. And if I've got any prom- problems, they'll always be there. So I kind of, I kind of rely, on, I rely on them and I'm happy to have them there. You know, ultimately, this loan spell is all about developing your career and, and hopefully making that first step to becoming a Chelsea first team player. Ultimately, I know you focus very much on Huddersfield at the moment, but you know, do you feel that you're progressing a lot since you've joined Huddersfield and you're getting all these minutes and all these opportunities to show what you're about? Yeah, I think I'm progressing a lot because Huddersfield, like you said, the game with opportunities and the coaches, the players, everyone's just helping me. And it's like, it's all coming together because I'm getting so much help and advice. I can't complain right now. So all I need to do is keep working hard here and where the end goal will be, it will be.